So it looks like the back is about three quarters of an inch too low on both sides and we can't figure out why. So I'm taking these new springs and shocks and struts out for a spin and holy freaking crap. They feel amazing. This car feels like a brand new machine. And that dreaded floating feeling that everybody's talking about, and that obviously we all know so well, has, um, is, is no more. And there, it does, that floating feeling is gone. I mean, it feels like it's on rails right now. These ProAction Stitas, I mean, you can't, they're pretty dang good. They're really, really good. Um, but, I mean, I paid, I paid a lot. Installation wasn't cheap, you know. Uh, the spherical bearing, the LCA bearing, um, and of course they did the knuckle to toe link, and they did the K-member bar and the cradle lockout kit and rear toe links. shock mounts and um, you know they, they did it all, did it all I was gonna do uh, some of the easy things like the K member bar and um, and even the cradle lockout but I figured they're already gonna have it up on a jack how much extra what would it have cost me to get those things added on top of it and it, it really what it, it didn't end up costing very much more because um, the parts that I was going to put on that probably would have taken me a few hours to put on, they put on in a few minutes. So in the big picture, it was just easy for me to just drop everything off to them. This car feels like what I imagine a GT350 would feel like right now. It's spectacular. The car feels so planted to the ground. It's a really hard to describe. So I used to have an Evo at an Evo 9 and that car right off the factory lot felt phenomenal. I mean it it felt like there's nothing I have to do to it. Suspension wise it honestly felt incredible. Now I had uh, the Evo 9 it was an SE model it was 2006 so it didn't have the Bilstein springs and shocks but um, it didn't feel like it needed any sort of upgrades. It was so firmly planted to the ground. The handling was magnificent. And that's what I'm feeling right now with these new shocks and struts. There is one disappointment um, right now, and that would of course be the ride height in the back. The rear ride height is sitting lower than it looks like it should. And so we had a long conversation with uh, Brian over at Stita. Um, and he's saying that um, it should have an even look all the way around. Now, what the problem may be, we don't know. Um, we don't really even know if there is a problem because I guess it's all speculative and it's subjective. What somebody thinks is that even right height may be something else in another man's opinion. Granted, the rockers are even front to rear. The rocker, it's 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 even. It doesn't look like the rocker is pointed pointed up. Um, now Brian got on the phone with. Um, one of the technicians who installed my whole entire suspension kit and he's like well you know well first actually he was talking to me he was like oh they might have put the rear uh, springs in the front and vice versa and i'm like i'm like dude th this is a these are some pros like they're not gonna mess it up you know and now i understand i'm sure there's been instances where that happens um so we got the part number from I read the part number back uh, on the springs 
on the rear springs from Brian and he's like, well, yeah, those, those definitely are the rear springs. So we eliminated that real quick. The rear springs are where the rear springs need to be and the front springs are where the front need, springs need to be. Um, the next thing he was saying is that maybe the front springs were put in upside down. Um, now, uh, that's something that I don't have an answer to. Now the tech's like, you know, there's no way I could have put the springs upside down. He said, uh, it's, I mean, it's clearly one way is up and another way is down. Um, there's no mixing that up. Um, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't there uh, to give a, uh, an accurate opinion on that. Uh, do I think he may have put them upside down? I, I mean, there's always a chance. There's a chance for everything. Um, but I'm pretty confident that they weren't put in upside down. Now, the thing that the tech said was, well, maybe the car needs time to settle. So uh, I uh, addressed that with Brian and um, uh, he got on the phone with uh, the tech and uh, explained to the tech that the material they use, there's no settling in their springs. And uh, the ride height that it is right now is pretty much going to be the ride height that's going to be a year from now. So what the issue is, I don't know. Um, again, I, is there even an issue? I looked at some pictures of this setup on some other Mustangs and I, and, and it, it, one Mustang, it looks like it, it has sort of the same s s stance as, as mine. And then there's, there's another Mustang that looks like it has an even stance all the way around. I read on uh, Mustang 6G forum site uh, of a guy who put the, the setup on and he, he said he did quarter inch spacers in the rear to give it the dead look. Now, quarter a quarter inch isn't a whole lot. It looks like from the measurements we took that it's three quarters of an inch off. Um, so I haven't had time to get those measurements back to Brian. I'm gonna send him the measurements along with the pictures. And, um, you know, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go from there. 